With this last example, I'm going to focus on how to use some of the spry features. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new web page and I'm going to make sure that I save it in my IoT root in uh, projects under skills. I'm going to call this spry. So one of the things that you have with the last two versions is the spry features that have some really neat things that you can do. And you can of course find some other behaviors like this that you pay for um, through the exchange on the Adobe website. But what I like about these are that it's free and that they're already included. So if I scroll, go to insert and scroll down to spry, there's a couple options here. And, and I'm really only going to focus on these ones these last few and I'm not even going to go to end all these I'm just going to illustrate a couple things so if you go to for instance the collapsible panel basically what you can do is you can then add the text for instance what is CSS and then you could add an answer CSS is blah 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 okay so then when you save this what you're going to see and it's basically saying, do you want to save these other files? I'm going to say yes, I do, because you need the CSS and the JavaScript. But I'm basically can do this. And now when I click on this button, it closes it and it opens it. And so it's an interesting way or a neat way that you can kind of do some basic interactions on your website. Now, you can always play with this. So if I click on this, I can make the display closed, for instance and the default closed and so now I'm going to save it and I'll show you so you can imagine how you might have these as questions um, in your website what is whatever the thing is and then the student the learner can click on it and actually get an answer now I'm going to show you an example of this one actually that I've used um, so my website I I played with it down here so if I scroll down if you click on abstract and I change the style sheet so it turns gray when you click on it there the abstract opens up and so this is a basic feature that they give you so if I go back now I'm gonna actually delete this and I'm gonna go back to insert I'm gonna go back down here and I'm gonna look at the menu bar and so the menu bar basically it's saying do I want to do a right or left nav, um, horizontal vertical I'm just gonna go with this one and for the sake of it I'm just gonna save this and preview it right now and it's once again saying do I want to save these and I do and that the biggest thing is when I upload this file to make sure that I upload the JavaScript folder as well as the saw sheet but you can see how this is just a basic drop down menu that it gives me and so I can go back to Dreamweaver and I could call this module module 1, module 2, etc. Okay. So I think you get the point so I'm not going to go into this one any further but rather say that be aware that you can change it you can play with the features down below so when I click on it I can go down here and change the the link where I want it to go can change the target and you can also if you feel comfortable you'll see that when I open this that it links to a JavaScript file but also up here a, a CSS file so I can click on the CSS file and for instance I'm gonna just go to code view and I might decide after thinking about this that I want to change for instance the font size or I want to change something else about it so let's just go down and see if I can find a good example of something and so it's important just to be aware that you have this option to do basic things so right now I'm just gonna change the background color of this to green just to illustrate my point I'm gonna save all I'm gonna go back to the source code go to design view and then now if I did it correctly wrench it doesn't look like I did and so let's go back and let's try that once more so we're gonna go back to the style sheet we're gonna go back down background color and, and it probably would help that if I actually read what it was
And so this is for the link. So this is when you mouse over something. So let's see. And it basically tells you if you'd actually take time and read the um, the directions or the comments, if you will. It'll tell you. And so just be aware that you can play with this style sheet and you can do things. And you know the key is when you upload this file, whatever your web page is that has the spray feature, you have to be sure to upload the JavaScript file as well as the CSS. So let's go back in there and let's look at any other things that we have. So I'm going to go to insert back down to spry and I have the tab panels option as well as the cording. So it's important to be aware of all these different great things that you have and how you can edit them. Um, and so let's just view this so we see what this looks like. Once again it's reminding me the JavaScript. So this is where you can see you could put the content of the page and this could be module 1, click to module 2, etc so let's go back and check out the one last one that I think is also pretty cool go to insert put this last one in here the accordion and so the accordion is real similar to one of the first ones I showed you but this one what it does is it gives you a couple more options so you can put the text in and you can imagine how you could use this in a number of ways and you've probably seen you've probably seen web pages use this in a number of ways for the home page but if I click on this I can add the number of panels down below I can change the order of them and it even gives me this customize this widget so you can always go to the Adobe website to find out more ways that you might customize any of these spry um, widgets so that's the basic lowdown of how to use spry